All right, all right. Let's just share this to the slack here. So, virtual blue. And throw it in general slack. Okay, let's see. All right, welcome, welcome. So, let's talk about landing, okay? Uh, I'm going to use the A320 for this. Uh, so we're going to talk about speed, weight, configuration, flying the star, right? And uh, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to... Uh, let's just have a look at Infinite Flight real quick. I'm going to try to do this on live, if only for the weather. Oops, I need this too. There we go. And off. Okay. I'm going to try to do Why, thank you, Mark. If only for the weather. We'll do it on Expert. All right. And, okay, we're good. So, I don't want to go all the way from JFK, although this would be part of it. I'm just trying to see if there's something in the middle here where I can just kind of get up and out. Um, I don't know if Martha's Vineyard can handle an A320. How long is the runway? Um, that would work. Let's see what do we got for our length here. So I can go Martha's Vineyard. So the idea is I'm going to join, join the, uh, join the Roebuck at, uh, at Providence, which should be, there it is. So where's Martha's Vineyard? Providence is there. Yeah, yeah, this will give me enough to get up. So let's go on gate three. Yeah, I think this is probably the best place to go here. I have no idea. I'm going to look at the, the length of the runway right now. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Martha's Vineyard to Boston. Um, and I'm just going to fly direct to Provi. The waypoint Provi, which is overhead Providence. And I'm going to fly the star. Um... Uh, the Roebuck 3. So let's go look at this. High wind warning has been issued from Suffolk County, Massachusetts, which, by the way, that's where Logan is. So this is going to be a bit of a blustery landing, I would think. Uh, so I'm going to take off from Martha's Vineyard, and then we have the star charts here. We're going to be doing the Roebuck, right? So let's take a look. So forget this first page. This is coming from Kennedy and Merritt. Um, this is the page we're going to look at. This and the transition. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to open it separate. So, we want to take a look at... I'm just going to take a look at the Boston weather real quick. Here. 220 at 12, Gus and 21. That's about what it is up north here in Boston. Let me just double check the... Uh, 210 at 13. All right, so that's not bad. That'll be a slight crosswind. So we're going to head back down to Martha's Vineyard, gate three. Okay. I'm going to set this up here. I'm going to use IF Assistant to uh, set me up. So let's take a look here. All right. Roebuck three. I'm going to open that in a new page. I mean, split view works. There we go. Roebuck three. And then... I'm going to plan on 2-2 two, two left. Okay? So, let's talk about this first. So, I'm going to take off, and I'm going to head over to either Provi or Roebuck. So, I'll be coming, kind of flying this way. 
and then looping around to join the star at Provi. And then we're going to do the 2-2 two -two left transition, right? And the arrival route's not on here, but it's basically, can I open this in a markup? Uh, let me see if this works. Yes. Okay. So here we go. So I'm going to take off from Martha's Vineyard, right? Which is kind of like here, right? M. That's a bad M. M. Wow. I can't draw. I don't have an Apple Pencil. Right? So we'll take off from here, right? And ch 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 ch. I'll come over to either Roebuck or Pro V, right? And then swing. So we're going to go Roebuck, Pro V, Jody, Cran, right? At Cran, 11, 12 to 11 and 250. Cradle, between 10 and 8, still 250. Kleb, 8, 250, right? And then we are going to 2 2 left. So then it's Ethan, 5,250. Patrick, 5,220. Tail, 5,210. Then we'll bank back around for 2 2, right? Um, what I may do is I'll fly the whole star. I'm just trying to make it kind of quick so we can do a couple of, uh, couple of landings as well. But I wanted to take off and configure, right? So I'm going to input a lot of this data, right, into Infinite Flight Assistant, right? Um, let's erase this, right? So in-flight assistant, the VNAV in it has a little slight issue where, and it's actually, it's realistic. I shouldn't say that, but there's, say, in this case, going from Ethan to Patrick, right? So you need to be at 220 at Patrick, right? You got 17 miles to run at 250 knots, and then you want to slow down, start slowing down here. So I usually will put in the speed for the following waypoint. So for instance, Roebuck, you got to be 260, right? At Roebuck, right? So I put in the constraint for 260 for Provi, right? So this is what it'll look like. Show you how to set it up. And hopefully it doesn't crash. All right. We got big wind, big wind. So I'll pop in the cockpit. Uh, let's just take a look. See you now. So can you come out here? It's crayon, isn't it? Let's see. Got to look at it on my phone. I usually should know it by heart. Jaina. No, it is crayon. Sorry. So Jody, crayon. Used to be the crayon three arrival. Uh, yeah, crayon three. Uh, cradle. Club. Ethan. Patrick. Tail. And then we go. Leezy. Noli. Wayne. Vocus. KBOS. Oh, zoom all. Right? <laughs> Alright, so that's that's good actually. That's good. I'll just try to bend it around here. What do we got? I'm gonna throw an extra waypoint in. Maybe up here. Right? 
And this is how you move waypoints around in case you didn't know. All right. Camping in there. Let's do this. Warwick. That's right around where War Warwick, Rhode Island would be. It's kind of funny. All right. Yeah, that'll give us a nice, nice turn. Turn in. So here's your, here's your star. So we've added in, right? And I probably should add in PHQ just to make that turn a little softer. Uh, that's a 4.2 miles. So it'll start turning. And, you know, I may take manual control. Uh, and 11.90 because there's a displaced threshold, right? That's going to drive us right on into 2-2 left. The weather in Boston is 2-10 at 13. Hello, American 424. Why are you taking off a 15? That makes no sense. 2-2 is active. It's been active all day. At any rate. So let's go look at the weight and balance. Okay. We need to be under the max landing weight, which is 171. And I need... And yeah, we'll give it about an hour's worth of fuel. Well, I gotta do this. Silence. Okay. So, 171. So let's. Oh, am I in a 321? I gotta be in a 320. Am I in a 321? I am. Oops. I wanted to use the 320 for this. Uh, just because it's my favorite plane. Alright. There we go. I'm like looking at the weights. I'm like, wait a minute, that seems a little high. Oh, and I just lost my flight plan. All right, so. One one nine one. Let's see if I got that right for the runway fix. Nope. Got the wrong runway fix. Eleven ninety. Okay, so yeah, that should give us a good so a lot of times so when we had had it from tail to noli. Uh, a lot of times what would happen would be as soon as you hit Patrick and started tracking t to tail, so as you, as you made the corner here, two seconds later, it would be looking to go to Noli for some reason. I don't know if they fixed that autopilot or nav thing. Um, I'll start my turn at tail. You know, I'll probably manually fly it just so we can kind of show what's going on. Get rid of that. And then let me add these back in. I have this on silent. Why is it doing that? Nope, oh, wrong one. That one. Uh, what did I say we were using here? Uh, this one? I don't know if it was that one or not, but... That's good enough. If I get the chance, I'll go directly to uh, directly there. All right, so let's talk about weights and balances. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna load it up. All right, 152. Uh, let's go 150. Actually, you know what? Let's say 160, because they just added 12 passages to the A320, okay, so 162, right, we got full bags, take it down to an hour and 30 on fuel, so we're going to land 
we're going to land pretty much close to max landing weight. Full flight. Full flight. Full bags. Going to drop a little bit more cargo load. Right? So we're going to be loaded. Loaded for bear. Right? Our landing weight's going to be somewhere on the, on the order of 144. So that's heavy. Right? Calibrate again. I'm going to bring this in now. Right? And just going to show you here. So we want Roebuck. We'll say we cross Roebuck at like... 14,000, right? And 260, right? I'm going to get right up there to like 16, 18,000 just to, to speed it up. Pro-V, not going to set a speed restriction, right? Um, but going forward, right, going forward, so Jody... And then crans 12 to 11. Uh, so let's say 11,000 at cran. And you have to be 250 at cran, right? And it's a 12 mile track to cran, is it? That's weird. Four, eight. Oh, it's eight. Yeah, eight. Eight to cran. From Pro V Jody 8.5, it says. Okay, so Cran's 11,250. So I'm going to set the 250 for cradle so it'll slow at Cran. It won't slow before Cran, it'll slow at Cran. Now, when you're doing a group flight, you would set it this way you would set it for Cran, right? So once you got to Jody, right? Once you got two, Jody. Yeah, I know. Oh, for the love. Once you got two, Jody, it would slow to the 250. When you're doing a group flight and you need spacing, set it up like that, right? But this, for this, for the purposes of this, usually I set it up for one one waypoint after. So Kleb, 8,000, hard limit. Cradle's gonna be 9,500. Thank you. And then Ethan is going to be 5,000 and 250. Now, I don't even need to put the speed limit in. Once it's 250, it'll stay at 250 unless I change it. So I can just leave that. But for the purposes of this exercise, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. Um, Patrick, right, is supposed to be 5 and 220. Now, again, right, now, again, one more time, like... If I set this to 220, that means the second we're over Ethan, right? We have about a 17-mile track from Ethan to Patrick. And, uh, you know, that can take a while, especially when you're slowing down. There's upper-level winds. So if I was doing a group flight, this is how I would set it. Instead, what I'll do is this, 220, and then 5. I need to get files. So, let's look at the ILS here. Delete PDF, right? Let's uh, take this and save to files. Oh, no, wrong one. Take this and go create PDF. Okay, so PHQ, right? PHQ is probably right around here somewhere. So we'll come up. Tail should be about here. Leazy is about there, right? PHQ and then Noli, right? All right. So let's talk about our track, okay? So at Noli, 4,000 or above. At Wayne, 3,000 or above. Vocus is your marker. 1700. Uh, this morning they were giving guys uh, ILS 22 left. They were giving them an intercept altitude of 2000. So, what I'll do is I will descend to 3000 feet prior to Noli, right? Uh, and pretend I've been cleared to 3000 because you want to intercept from below, right? It's not a good line. Let me do a different color. You want to intercept this from below. 
right? You don't want to be struggling. You don't want to be up here trying to get there. You want to be down here and then boom, like you're on rails. It'll be almost like you're on rails. So we'll start out at 3,000, say, right? We'll descend to 3,000 and then turn back, right? Uh, usually what the air traffic controller will say is JetBlue 251 or what is it? JetBlue 22. It's my favorite flight. JetBlue 22, you're six miles from Noli. Turn left heading 250. Intercept the localizer. Cleared ILS approach 22 left. Maintain 170 or greater till Vocus, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up for 3,000, right, at Wayne, right? All right, so I'm going to set up for, I'm going to clear that one and get the quote-unquote clearance. 3,000, right, and then 170 to Vocus, right? And Vocus is 1,700. Zoom all is 700. Now, as soon as I intercept, I'm going to take over, right? And this, this runway fix, you want to be 50 feet. Five zero feet, right? And then you want to be at your VLS there. So if you let it do an RNAV approach, you want to be at that speed at that time, right? At that point. I'm going to get the... Set up so zoom all right, and then 50 feet above the runway on speed, right? So let's talk about speeds, okay? Rid of this. So this is in here, right? So we're going to be planning on like a 146 landing, right? So our landing ref or VLS is going to be 137, right? So to calculate... VLS is the ref speed, is what you want to touch down at, right? So, your V app, what we're going to fly the approach at, is VLS, or V ref, for 146, 137, plus 5, plus one third of the headwind component, not to exceed VLS plus 20. So, you can add up to 15 knots. So, if 15 knots, you'd have to have a 45 knot headwind. To, uh, to be able to do that, right? 45 knot headwind. Don't think we're going to see that. Just saying, okay? So that's the managed approach speed. So what I'm going to do is do that 170 to Vocus, and then right after Vocus, oops, so right after Vocus, uh, oops, wrong one. So I put 170 on Vocus, right? And then right after Vocus, I'm going to do let me say 146, so 137 plus 5 to the headwind in Boston. So let's look at that. So we're going to figure out what we need to do. All right, this is all stuff that's going to make your landing so much better. That chart, by the way, guys, has never let me down. 210 at 13, right? And I like to carry an extra knot or so um, in a headwind because the infinite flight autopilot... Uh, sometimes we'll just do weird things. It doesn't, the auto thrust doesn't quite keep up. Like you'll always be, if you set, say, 150 knots, you'll be steady at 149 going into a headwind, 149, 148. So I like to carry an extra knot or so. So 13 divided by 3 is 4.3, so we'll call it 4 knots. So we're going to do 137 plus 5 plus 4. So 137 plus 9 is... 146. So we actually probably want 148. I'll put in 148. Right? This has never let me down. Um, really hasn't. So once we hit Vocus, right? So 170 to Vocus, and then we're putting in our ref, and then when we touch down, if I was going to do an RNAV, I would put 137 here, right? Uh, but you actually would, you'd want to be, you'd hit 137 as you touch down. Uh, so you put 137 here. But 
that's beside the point. That's that's for an R and approach, which you which you would take over from anyways. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to recalibrate, figure out how the heck to taxi here. Taxi to two four. Marthas Vineyard Unicum, JetBlue two five eight zero. Taxiing to runway two four. I'm actually going to change my call sign. Uh, what do they use? 2991, I believe, is the uh, ferry flight. Let me see. No, nope, 2991's the Tampa. Let me into that one. Boston and JFK, yep. Boston and JFK. Look like a ferry freight flight to me. Yeah, the 90 ones. I, I don't know. Uh, 199. I'm just guessing. Nope. I'll put uh, 999. All right. Test flight. All right. Oh, one more thing. Our takeoff weight looks like it's going to be, oh, let me load up a little bit more. So landing weight's going to be 146. So let's take off at like 149, 148. So for takeoff, one last time, go up here. This is also never let me down. So takeoff, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use flaps too. Let's see what we got here. Not this vineyard runway length. Runway is 24 is 5,500 feet. Yeah, that's going to be flaps 2. So, flaps 2 for 148,000 is 41, 41, 45. What do we got here for 140? 134, 34, 40, 42. So, actually, flaps 1 plus F looks a little bit better here. So, I'm going to set, in my V-speeds, I'm going to set five knots before is the call. So, I'm going to set 130 and then 141. Surprised that this flaps too. I mean, you get better climb performance, but you got to be at a higher speed, huh? 41, 41, 45. So, really quickly, let's talk about the speeds here. You got V, your weight in thousands of pounds. V1, obviously, decision speed. VR, rotation speed. V2, safety speed, right? And then you got your flap speed and your slat speed, okay? Uh, so for 146,000 or 148,000, we're going to go flaps up. We're going to go all the way flaps up at 199, right? And then our clean speed, our clean, our green dot speed, for maneuvering is going to be 214 knots. So we'll drop flap one going below 214 uh, as we land. Okay? So I'm going to close. And there's six. And uh, okay. So I can just do a u-turn here so it looks like Good to go.
flaps one. So this is going to be a toga takeoff. Martha's Vineyard Shh. Unicum, JetBlue 999, crossing runway 24. Martha's Vineyard Unicum, JetBlue 999, crossing runway 15. pitch trim today because short runway, 5,000 foot runway. It's definitely, definitely calls for toga, I, I would think. Martha Spinyard Unicum, JetBlue 999 is taking off runway 24, departing west. Landing lights. Strobe lights. I don't even know if this is legal for an A320. But for this takeoff, I'm going to be holding the brakes quite a bit and spooling those, spooling those 25, 27, A5s right on up. Okay, let's see. Fifty percent. Toga SRS runway auto thrust. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Checks. Gear up. Gear up. Gear up. Gear up. This thing. Gear up. Gear up. We are rocket ship flaps zero degrees. 1500 thrust reduction. Accelerate up to 250. I'm going to go ahead and hold my vertical speed. Set altitude 1 8,000. burn off 2,000 pounds of fuel, so that's kind of important to do. Oops! 
Sporty ride, folks. Sporty ride. So I'm doing things that are quite out of the norm here. Normally I'd be climbing like 2,500 max after thrust reduction, but I'm going to crank it right up just so we can kind of see the, uh, the whole arrival process. Warwick to Roebuck is a minute and four, so that's 4,000 feet a minute. So we'll start, start the descent. That's the other thing is... Uh, John, a.k.a. Epaga, decides to update the VNAV, hopefully sometime he will, we'll be able to have uh, a window, right? That Roebuck is a window. You have to cross Roebuck between flight level 190 and 12,000. That's your limit. So it's about 10 minutes to Roebuck. Did I cut this off? crank around to Providence. The old Cran 3 used to be cross Providence 11,250 and it didn't have all the arrivals for the different runways. It only had a couple of a couple of them. Like I don't if I remember right I don't think it went all the way around to 2-2. Two -two. Bumpy out here. I'm gonna make it sixteen thousand. All right, so landing lights off. Auto thrust off for a second. Slow that. Rate of climb. A couple more notches on the power to get right up to 300 knots. it, watch it drop back down, what the star looks like.
zeroing out that trim, by the way. The, uh, the 320 climbs like a rocket. Now for landing, our pitch is probably going to be somewhere on the order of... Twenty to thirty percent up. So a thousand will go. Slow that. Slow that up. And then just do this real quick. Take over two seventy. Bank it back around. Wind leg to roll the robot, if you will. Set heading at heading 360. And by the time I come around here, I should be able to hit direct to Roebuck. Be coming in a bit of an angle. Normally, you'd be coming in from effects release. That button right there. All in. Yep. All in is right on top of the Norwich VOR. So normally you'd be coming into Roebuck from Allen and then banking. So boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm going to hit direct to Roebuck in a second here. Start descending now. Right, see, the V nav's catching up. It's looking for 260 at Roebuck. I'm just going to keep hitting direct so I've got a fairly straight line on it. Sometimes I'll just keep them on so I don't forget my landing. 210 to 13 still. It's weird, no gusts, huh? It feels gusty. Alright, so now we got Roebuck. constraint will be Korean at 1 1000. Alright, so I'm going to keep it going down. I'm going to set the altitude now. Set altitude 1 1000. Set altitude 1 1000. Set altitude 11,000. Sometimes these voice commands. Set altitude 1 1000. 
really. Set altitude one one thousand. Fifteen hundred feet per minute ought to do it. And Proby's eleven or above, no problem. listening to ATC he was coming in to uh, 22 left and he gave the tower a pyre up and said pyre up that uh, the wind was 290 at 62 at 3,000 feet so that was right about Noli I would think it was just inside of Noli he was Sometimes the uh, sometimes it has a little trouble catching itself up. Right. And already we've trimmed back out. I need to burn another 800 in fuel. That shouldn't be a problem. so it's looking for that 250. And I'll set it back at 250 in just a second. Ten thousand. I should have just joined a club. Could have been faster, but I kind of wanted. 
of show the star and show the programming for it. I know I've done it before. Landing lights. Now, for those of you folks that worry about violations, uh, you have a 10 knot buffer, so you can go up to 260 before you get the, the warning. Right? They give you a 10 knot buffer, and you got to stay above 260 for, for a minute. I've had a couple of whoopsies where I've had to take control and, you know, really, you know, where I was concerned. So even with the wind fairly right down the pike and you know, fairly breezy, it's going to be worse tomorrow. So Boston might be a good destination if you want to practice here. Crosswind and windy landings. It's all coming out of the south-southwest, so you should see winds somewhere between 180 and 240. Degrees 25 to 50 knots, maybe even higher. At surface level, that is. There you go. To the left. Okay. General Edward Unicum. JetBlue 999 is 23 nautical miles to the southeast at 8,800 feet. Inbound so for landing. If you look here, we'll make left traffic each star, for runway 22 left. Right? Each leg of the star, but this is putting us on a left downwind for 22 left, right? The 27, right? Goes. The 27 arrival, right? We'll go Crane Crater Pleb and then Hope to, right? And from Hope Do, you go to Claim. So you can leave Hope Do straight out and turn into Claim. So 27 puts you on a left base, right? From Hope Do, you're on, already on a left base, right? So you fly like this, turn for Claim, Lona, rip it, and then 1191 into Boston. Right? The four right. And four left off the Roebuck take you Provi, Jody, Sophie, Ernie, Goshi, then Whiny, which is here, Whiny, Nabo, Milk, Ursu, and right? The 33 arrival. Alright, so now we're descending to 5,000. We've just got into uh, landing weight, right? 146. I'm going to check the wind again. Still 210 at 13. So for 33, you come, it's Provi Jaina. No, sorry. Everything's Provi Jody. And then Jaina. And then if you go on a 1 5 right, you go to Boxers. If you go on a 1 5 right, it puts you on a right downwind. So it goes Boxers. This is for 1 5 right. Cheers. I don't know that they use this. I think they just vector for that. I don't think I've ever seen... 1-5 rights used so infrequently. There is... Uh... Tell me I added that waypoint. I know I did. Yeah. Oh, 
Sorry. Yeah. Put you on a left downward. So chair. Cheers. And then. That's weird. That's in the wrong spot. Maybe it's not. The chart displays it as being 19 miles red hot. Huh. So it puts you on a, again, left, left downwind for 1-5, uh, which I believe starts at Woburn. Or Swig, maybe. For 3-3. Three, three, Right? It's Jody, Jaina, Ansley, yeah. and then Barry, Bog, and then Kohas is the first waypoint. Or is it Ben? No, Ben's the first waypoint. So you go Bog, Ben, so you're on a left base for 3-3, three, three. right? So here I've kept the speed up, but again, if we were going to have, uh, if there was a group flight, so if I had guys in front of me and behind me, I would be down to 220 already. So I've got it set up to go to 220 the second it leaves Patrick, right? And then 210 for Lizzy. bumpy around here. So the airport's out off our left wing. So see, when you come out of Hope Do, you'd be intercepting right around here, 4,000 for loan. I'm sorry, 4,000 for plane. 3,000 for longer. So like I said before, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and descend to 3,000 after tail to intercept the Noli. And again, it's vectors from tail. But a lot of times they'll pick them up prior to if there's traffic, they'll turn them on a, on a downwind from here, even, where I am. This is going to be a fun landing. General Edward Unicum, JetBlue 999 is 13 nautical miles to the northeast at 5,000 feet, inbound for landing, will make left traffic for runway 22 left. This is the first time I've put PHQ uh, into, the, uh, into the flight plan. So this would be the problem right here. Before I put in, before we put in Lazy, it would already be trying to duck for Noli. If it was just tail, it'd be still trying to trying to get to Noli. General Edward Unicum, JetBlue 999 is on left downwind, runway 22 left. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead as soon as I get off after tail. Which one am I going to put altitude for tail? Get it 5,000. I'll go ahead and put 210 in for tail now, just to get uh, get set here.
set altitude 3000. See how it did that? It skipped, skipped right over Lazy. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and say that the uh, ATC is giving us a vector now. So JetBlue 999, turn left heading 250, intercept the local. It's JetBlue 999. You are six miles from Noli. Turn left heading 250. Intercept the 2 2 left localizer. Maintain 3000 until established. Cleared ILS runway 2 2 left approach. That is what they would say. We are on base. General Edward Unicum, JetBlue 999 is on left base. Right. Runway 2 2 left. And then what they'll do is say, say something like maintain 170 to focus. After Noli, maintain 170 to focus. So I got manual control now uh, of the heading. I'm going to switch legs. And actually, I should have put the 170 here. Stupid me, I thought I was paying attention. Right? Look what happens when you take your eye off the ball for one second. So I'll go to 10 on the heading. Just to get firm back up. Flaps one. Set speed one nine zero. Flaps two. Flaps two. She'll settle out, right? Okay, crossing Noli. Set speed 170. Uh, it's usually 170 or greater, so I'm going to maintain 190. It's either 170 or 170 or greater. Establishing. Okay, so I'm going to start a gentle descent. Set speed 170. See, I'm starting a gentle descent now. Flaps 3. Normally it would be geared on flaps two. Right. Then we want 1,700 feet in focus. Trying to 
stabilize now. Once I stabilize in the descent. Seven miles. Gear down. Flaps full. And you notice I did a 900 foot per minute descent for a second because I don't want to go above too much. Right? See how it's pushing me down? Ooh, a little bump there. Really balloons when you're over speed. Set speed 148. Oh, I'm screwed. I see I'm trying to dive for it now. Just let it keep coming, just like that. Nine hundred to a thousand. Right. And I'm looking at my vec, my flight path vector. This is all about the flight path vector. I'm going to put the show touches on for a second. What's up, buddy? Can't pause live. Always forget that. So I'm high now. My sight picture is very high. But I should be able to catch up. I'm inside of focus. Let's see if I can just catch it. So that was a screw up for me. It's all about this vector here, right? I'm going to get that sight picture back that I'm looking for. 1,000. Okay. Out of 1,000, we can't have more than 1,000 feet per minute. auto thrust in. This is a fly-by-wire aircraft, so I'm still a little high. There we go. That's better. There we go. This is how you want to have it look. And I'm surprised about the trim, to be honest with you. 500. 500. Might be my calibration. I could, when I take the autopilot off, this thing could dive on me. Right? So I'm stable. Look at this. It's like, I'm on, it's like I'm on rails, right? Now I want you to watch the flight path back there as I come in here, right? 300. Gonna go low there, right? Right on the bricks, right on the bricks. Oop, going high 200. again. 200. Right. 100. All right. Push to the left. 50. 40, Flare. 30, 20, 10. Oh, I'm pushing my... Oh, that was terrible. Don't do that. Okay, dear FDS, right? Dear FDS, can you turn this off during landing, right? Like, can you make the zone, dear FDS, make this zone right here, rudder only. Oh, God, that was brutal. That was horrible. Don't do that. Don't. That's bad. That was terrible. I got enough runway to take off here? No, I don't. So I want to do this again because that was horrible. Oh, disgusting. Flaps zero degrees. Something was funny there. I usually it's probably the weight. I'm 
imagining it was the weight. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead down Mike. Yeah, I'm going to go down Mike and uh, take off to two right. I'll go up to TJ and back around to Nolan. Oh, that was clean. Off center. All right. Don't do that. I'm going to do another stream. Call that flying the star. Hey, buddy. Hi. You want to say hi? Come on, Bubs. Come on. He already had a treat. No treats for him today. Oh, no treats today, huh, bud? No treats Have you got a stick? Today. Have you got a stick? stick Good boy. Huh. Good boy. How's your mom doing? Pretty good. Yeah. My lawyer's calling me, actually. Yeah. This is interesting. Hey, John, how are you? Oh, hi, Mary, how are you? Okay, I maybe I didn't see that. Did that come out today? No, the other day, that's what I said. I said, Ross is usually pretty, pretty prompt on responding. Uh, who sent uh, it? I don't... Do you remember what day you sent those ones? Oh, yeah. I missed it yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I definitely don't have the phone. Oh, you don't have the phone? No, definitely not. All right, well, if you, if you want to respond to her for these guys, you can chat it to me. something happens I'll, I'll you know so what what do you think is going to happen with this Mary I just got elected trustee, actually, in my world. Tell Uber, tell Uber, tell Uber I'll take five minutes. All right, we're going to set that back up.
All right, thanks very much. All right, bye-bye. Thanks. So it seems we can get to the right spot here by taking off 1.6 at Beverly. Definitely going to be a toga. So I'm going to take off 1.6 at Beverly and uh, uh, where do I want to go here? There's got to be a better airport. I could just set it up. I'll just set it up in solo mode. This would be easier. I uh, just want to make sure that wind's the same. So I'm going to set up on final for, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set up on final for 1-5 right. And then I'm going to go go ahead and go go on a left down. So I'm going to initiate a go around here immediately. All right? Looking for that positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. Gear up. Gear up. Flaps two will go around. Okay, thrust reduction. I'm on 146.918, so I need to just touch the cargo down just a little bit. Alright, there we go. Flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps zero. Flaps zero. Flaps zero degrees. Set altitude four thousand. Another thing, you gotta lock your vertical speed in before you lock anything else in. Alright, so I'm in solo mode now, and I don't know what happened to the wind here. So Boston was uh I'm gonna get the wind. This is this is difficult. Because I wanted that weather. Set heading zero five zero. This that last one was terrible. I was looking for I was looking for the rudder, and I obviously did that, which does not help. All right, so Boston right now in real life is two ten and thirteen. I'm going to set this up, 210 and 13. 210, when they do live replay that we can get a set altitude 3,000. Set speed to 2-0. 
So still 146,000, so we'll be looking for 147. Forty-six, actually. Check my check my manual here. Oof! Ah, can't get over that last line. I still got applause, but it was off center line. Mainly because I didn't get to make my last adjustment because my look went that way. If I had a dollar for every time I did that, I'd be a rich, rich man. All right, so one hundred forty-six thousand pounds. 137 plus 5 is 42, plus uh, 13, 5, 4, so let's do 4 knots, set speed to 1, 0, so we'll just do this, set heading two five zero. divided by 3 is 4.3, so 5 and 4, so 42, 146 is what we'll be looking for. Set speed 200, set speed 200, zero, zero. flaps 1, set altitude 2000. So if I did this right, we should intercept at Wayne. And this time I'll try to get the speeds and everything right. And I'll do the 170 to focus. Ooh, it's gonna be short. Maybe not. Yeah, close enough. Set speed one seven zero. Flaps two. slow. See how it balloons with the flaps? All right. I'll be looking for this to start activating and I'll start a descent. Flaps three. Seven miles for gear. One dot above will be gear down.
gear down. Flaps full. Set speed 147. See that ballooning that happens? See, I wanted 146, didn't I? Still a little, just a touch high, right? All right, I'm gonna try to take this now. There we go. There's the trim where I, where it normally should be. Right? It's gonna be like riding the rails, right? Just little 1, tiny adjustments here, right? It's all about the flight path vector at the end, right? So focus on this, right? Kind of fighting this off a little bit here. Like I said, 20 to 30 pitch. Remember, this is this is a heavy flight. Short of the bricks there. Three hundred. Okay. That means we gotta make a decision. Two hundred. Okay. Not too much, not too little. One hundred. Okay. Fifty over the runway. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Flare at thirty. Twenty. Power's off, power's off, power's off, power's Ten. off, power's off, rest in. Gonna get the applause now. Brakes. Out of reverse at 60, keep the brakes on. Right. Let's play that back. That was much better. Although I think I gotta put my aileron null zone up a little bit. So let's see. This is my control settings here. Yeah, I'm gonna put that. Uh, I'm gonna put that sen. I don't know about the nose on. Maybe I'll put the sensitivity down just a touch. There we go. A little bit more. All right. So let's play that back. All right. Let's play that last bit back. I was a little high here, right? So configured, right? Coming on in. Coming on in. Right. And I, I did float a little bit. I want to touch down between here and here. Power off around 30 to 20. Okay. All right, one more time. All right, so right here. 50, 40, 30, flare 30, power off 20, right? Just making that last adjustment. On the road. And look at this, right? 1 1 dial. Right? So I'm going to set it up from about 1,000 feet again, and we'll take another look. See if I can do it better. Calibrate here. There we go. It's a little better. So see this speed? The speed's working for me, right? It's 
but see how it's low up here? I'm looking for 146. I got 144. I always usually I usually go for like a knot above what I what I need. 500. 500. All right now I'm not touching nothing. All right, gonna make a little adjustment to the right. Don't overcorrect it. 400. too much. Still high here. Still very high. I can tell that just by how the runway looks. And my flight path back to his right. Landing. 100. All right. 50. 50. 40. 30. 20. Oof. 10. Oof. Oof. Terrible. Now let's see what I did wrong there. I adjusted to the right. Right about, right about there. Right there I made an adjustment to the right. I never came back up. Now I could kick a little rudder, so let's see. Let's get it back on glide. Right. Why does it keep trying to put it on? Well, look at it. It's like I'm on rails, right? Because I'm properly configured, right? My speed is on. If my speed's off here, I'm, I'm no good. If my speed's slow or fast, I'm no good. So use that chart for the 320, and I'll tell you a little formula for the 321. Correct back to the right a little bit. Two hundred. Go. Back to the left. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Flare. Twenty. Ten. a long landing right there. Play that back. See what it looks like from the tower. All right. I was adjusting at the end. A headwind sometimes can be more tricky than a crosswind. Crosswind, you know what you got. Flaring out, flaring out, power's off. Oh, that was long. Let's look at it from the back. If you can possibly do it, you can aim a little low. Now, real pilots have told me, and I've sent them pictures, you want to be touching down right here, right? Most of the time, you're going to be here or here, right? That's somewhere between here and here, but ideally here, here, or here. Not too much further than that. So let's go back and see if I can nail it again, right? Let's go right here to the intercept, right? Okay, gear down. Flaps full. I just went right through, right? So I just went right through the localizer, or right through the, uh, gear down. Flaps full. See that balloon? Set speed 140. 
right as the speed's coming off there we go kind of pushing over you can configure early but it's going to cost you in fuel Now look at that, I'm configured, I'm on glide, right? If I push a little power, that flight path vector goes up, right? Now watch, if I overspeed it, watch what happens here. See the flight path vector? It's taking me negative to, to push down, right? Power comes off, right? Power comes off. Push over a little bit, right? There's a lot of feel to it too, really. One thousand. One thousand. Stable. Okay, so we're stable. On an ILS, you need to be stable at a thousand. On a visual, it's five hundred. Right. Small corrections. Small, small, small corrections. Kick a little right, get that back over. Right. This time I'm going to aim a little low and try to hit the brakes. Three hundred. That flight path vector. Watch that flight path vector. One hundred. Right. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Off kilter there a little bit. Let's look at that one. Kicked a little rudder in there. Oh, come on, get over there, get over there, get over there, get over there. Yay. Could have been better. So let's do it from 500. I don't know why. I, wanna, I almost want to put a crosswind on here. Just because. Let's do it from about five. Okay. So look at this sight picture that you got right here, right? Four hundred. That wind is just enough to push me right off center line. Now I'm aiming low here for to touch down on the money. Three hundred. Right? Look at where my flight path vector is, right dead center on the runway. Right? 200. Landing, minimums, landing. Alright. Let it push over once more. 100. Shifting 50, aim. 40, 30, 20, 10. Oh, oh, oh. Did it again with the view. Oh, that would have been a good one. Gonna hear the applause. Yeah, I know, I know. It was a good landing. They gotta fix that view. So all I needed to do was just kick a little bit of rudder right in, right? So watch it flatten out, right? Coming in this angle, right? So let's just look. This corresponds to this, right? The vector, the vector would be probably right about there right now. This would be here in real life, right? Let's look outside. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Rounding out, rounding out. Flare. And I 
separate myself. See that little dip I made? That dip. And then all I needed was a little bit of rudder right here. A little bit of rudder right here. Alright, so let's try one more time. Alright. 300. But look at this. Like, I'm barely doing anything. Alright? Barely doing anything. Alright? Just kind of adjusting as we go. Alright? One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Let's look at that one. Now I kicked over, right? I kicked over. So here I come, flaring. Real natural, like, right? And here's the kick, right? There's going to be times where you need to plant it in a high wind situation. You'd need to plant it. So let's do that. Let's just do a one across wind just for uh, just for fun. I'll just say it's uh, let's go 280 because they land they'll land on uh, on it when it's 280. Okay, let's see. Let's get back up to like 500 feet so we can just stabilize in the cross wind here, a thousand feet or so. Okay. Here comes the crosswind. And let me just make it like actually 280 because it's true. Okay, alright. There we go. Same thing. Look at, right? We're on rails, folks. We're on rails. 1,000. The funny thing is here, I'm pretty much locked on the ILS, but watch what happens if I hit approach. See that? Yanked me and yanked me. But see how? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm barely moving my iPad, right? Tiny adjustments, right? 500. Maybe a few blips of trim here and there. Now I'm high again. Uh, 500. Dot high. Need to get that back. 400. Right. There it is. 300. Two hundred. So this time I'm gonna look for short because I need to decrab. One hundred. Right. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Control, 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 control. Right? 15 knot crosswind. No problem. Right? No problems. Alright. Let's take a look. I think I, I decrabbed a little too early. You want to decrab about the same time you're flaring. Right? Didn't give it much of a flare there either. Let's see. I did flare pretty good. Three to five degree flare. Right. Just look at that from the back. Okay, holding it down the runway, holding it down the runway. Right on the side. Same thing, right? Okay, one one thousand, two one thousand. Yeah. 
one just to hold it off for a little longer. Let's crank up the wind one more time. Do a left cross wind. 42 is a tailwind, so like one, yeah, 160 should be good. Let's crank it up to like 18. All right, resume. We'll go back up to like 500 feet. Now yeah, that's good. All right, uh, let it adjust. Okay, and do the same thing on us. Oh, that's like a headwind. So. Let's go like 150. Okay. So 19 knots, slight head, slight cross. Right. So we need to add a couple knots because we bumped that wind up. So 19 divided by 3 is 18 divided by 3 is 6, so it would be plus 11. So what do we say? What's my weight? 144. I'll check the weight on the chart. 44 is 136 plus 11, 147. So both the same speed. No, oh, 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 oh. 400. I want to get that. Well, I, I'll, I'll just land this one and then I'll, I'll, I'll do a straight cross on it. Right. 300. Definitely too high. Two hundred. There it is. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Look at that again. Right. And there's no need for yanking, right? Flare right. out, flare out. Ooh, I went long. this is helping everybody for the landing competition. Uh, you know, I think you'll be judged as on center line. We're working out the details, but you'll be judged on center line so long as you're, like, see that? See how you're, like, one width away? Like, as long as your tire is either on that side there or on the opposite side, that's on center line, you know? Uh, let's put this up to a real crosswind, all right? Uh, drop the thing. Oh, can't say that on here, can I? All right, zoom. What are we at? 500 feet? Okay. So this is going to adjust one more time. Uh, this will be the last one for today. Actually, I could set it up in the... I'll set it up in the 321 just so everybody can kind of kind of see that. Uh, and I think the winglets make a difference here. So I'm just going to set up 2-2 two, two left. It's about 1,500 feet, I think, when you set up on a final like this. Now I need to get my V-Ref, or my VLS, right? So I'm yanking, I'm yanking, I'm yanking. I'm going to try to hold that for just a second. So on the A321, you take it wholly. I've been streaming for a while. 26%. going to charge the old iPad up. It's okay. Red Dead Redemption's on. So, right, you take the weight in kilograms the aircraft weight in kilograms so right here we've got 159.5 call it right and we turn that into kilograms so you do 159.5 divided by 2.204 and then that comes out to 72 minus 30 is 142 so the VLS is 142 for this situation right so, 
with that being said, plus 5, 47, right? 147, and then we got, so probably about 152 with the, with the wind will be what we're looking for. And we'll get that same kind of sight picture as we had in the 320, uh, although the 321 kind of has a little bit more uh, pitch up. All right, let's do this. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, settle in, settle in. I gotta, obviously, I got to trim out. The 321 takes quite a bit of trim. It's usually minimum 30. Okay. It looks like it's going to be like 38. That's it. One thousand. The one ninety. Oof! Don't ask me to do the one ninety. One ninety is a very sporty aircraft. See that center line's drifting into view now. Four hundred. Three hundred. Small, small adjustments. Two hundred. One hundred. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Claps. That was a long landing. Again, uh, I wish FDS would maybe give us like a... All right, so here comes the 30 is the flare, All right? See that flare? So, one 1,000, two 1,000. Yeah, that was a bad one on the nose gear. Again, because I didn't have, you know, I'm looking left. Right, just they gotta maybe they can dead zone that around there. I'm gonna put that as a feature request. I'd appreciate votes for that. So let's go from here. Right, one more time. Right. Three hundred. Getting low. Getting low. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Oh, I floated that one. Ten. Ooh, Nelly. Now look at that. I had full, le full left rudder in there. That would not do that before. Right there. Well, that was my mistake right there. Ready? Let off on the pitch. See that? Right there. Right there, I let off on the pitch. Now look at that. I don't remember letting go of that rudder, but say la vie. Let's try that one more time. Now you hear how I'm getting the claps. I'm getting soft landings every time. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. 
40, 30, 20. That was terrible. 10, 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. That was a little bit better. That's what you want for a rollout, right? Oh, that's awesome. So I hope this has helped. Uh, and I mean, I suppose I could do one with the 190, but I've been going for a while. Hope this helps you butter up those landings a little bit. Uh, grease them on but I really I the phrase buttering the bread I, I if I see that one more time in IFC I might just never go on IFC again just grease job grease job landing because you're working right uh, thanks for watching the stream uh, we're looking to have a landing competition probably the weekend of Thanksgiving when everybody's gonna be home and sitting around hopefully so uh, more details to follow in the slack and the IFC have a great day, have a great night, and have a great weekend. Uh, what does this say? I don't want the news. I want to stop the thing. Oh, uh, thanks for the sub there, Epic ET Gaming. 